What's happening, Carolina fans? Welcome to Two Fans in the Stands, a podcast related to all things Carolina Panthers and North Carolina Tar Heels. I'm your co-host, Tony. And I'm your co-host, CJ. Let's go. CJ, what's happening, cuzzo? What's good with you? Doing good, cuz. How you doing? Man, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'd, I'd be doing a lot better if these damn Tar Heels would get their mind right and, uh, you know, play play some ball and stop looking ahead to this Clemson game. Damn. Man, who you telling? They, um, the, the, the way they playing, they might as well just look ahead to whatever bowl game they going to play. Because if um they put the same effort out they have the past two weeks against against Clemson, yeah, it's gonna be a blowout. Man, hey, it, it is what it is at this at this point. I guess they just happy with being uh nine and two and playing an ACC championship game because everybody nine just look like they just got yeah nine and three. Yeah, you're right, nine mm-hmm. and three. They like they just got complacent and uh that kicker. Yeah, I I hope I hope they pull this scholarship uh Sunday Sunday morning. Yeah, he he, he, don't, like that. he don't he don't walk he don't walk on status. No, for real. You have I, I, I uh, know. one job. Yeah, one yeah. job. It was was a 30, 33 yard field goal, if that. It was something, something like short, that. yeah. It, mm-hmm. Chip shot. Chip shot. You don't even really get the ball off in the air. It looked like a damn frisbee. Come on, bro. <laughs> nah. <laughs> It so did. what were your what were your thoughts on the game, man? Come on, that's man. That's, it was yeah. it, it it was just let me tell you, it came down to state was really running. I on it was a three four or like a three three five defense, but yeah, it, it was I can say a good eighty ninety percent of the time they were rushing three and dropping eight. And yeah. on a lot of those plays, they were getting pressure with the three down linemen. They they, they got a lot of pressure. Yeah, they got a lot of pressure. That nose tackle, that nose yes. tackle. He man, he was All eating the offensive last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was uh-huh. eating the ass up yesterday. He sure was. And the thing was, Drake May on a lot of those plays, he really didn't have anywhere to go. And it didn't seem like until later on in the game, they kind of figured out, like, hey, because you know how on offense you you run, set up the pass? Yeah. It was it was almost, and I, I might sound weird for saying this like this, but and this, this is going to be my analogy. But it was almost like those three down linemen were setting up the blitz because they, run, they ran them three down linemen. But when they came with the blitz, the blitz was getting to me. I mean, it it was okay. times where the blitzer was just coming off the off the end, and and nobody picked them up. Yeah, nobody. Yeah, it, it was almost like they were so worried with those three down linemen, making sure that they didn't get through. The blitzes were getting through, and then uh-huh. it, it seemed like later on in the game, it it, it finally clicked. They're like, "Hey, we need to leave a back in here to help protect." So. But hell, that even that didn't even really do no good. Like they they made our offensive line look suspect for the yeah. for the first time in a long time. Like, but that, it, that it, was, it did help them a little bit later on, though. You know, even, especially on that last drive of regulation. I can't remember that safety name for uh, NC State. I call him the little rocket. That little that little mm. uh, Mo Fracker man. He was he was flying around and in, in, interrupted everything. He ain't number like mm-hmm. 180, 85 pounds. Man, he was yeah. he was manhandling our tight end. He he was you know coming downhill on the blitzes, but I mean he was laying the wood though. I was like, this little dude right here is he, he is just wrecking the game. I can't remember yeah. his name. Ingle, uh, Peyton name Wilson. Ingle. No, oh, no, Tanner Peyton Ingle. Wilson, linebacker. Yeah, Ingle. Yeah, I'm yeah. like this little dude right here, man. He he just caused <laughs> all kind of havoc. He was like, he was yeah. getting on my nerves. You would think I was Drake, man. I'm like, this little dude is getting on my nerves. Will somebody mm-hmm. please put some hands on him or something? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, for real. Because when the pressure, you know, when, when they allow the pressure to get to Drake May, you know, he that's when he really looks like a, a redshirt freshman. 
But when he has yeah. time to sit back there and, and pick the defense apart, you know, then you see the Drake May that's been in the talk about the Heisman all year. But like, I do yeah, give him these, these credit. Like, I, I'm saying I, I do give him credit how he stepped up at the end of the game. You know, he showed mm-hmm. his, his maturity and poise. And, um, you know, he didn't let the – the game get away from him. You know, he battled to mm-hmm. the end. And, and I love how he put us in position to have a chance to win in overtime. I never yeah. do it like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're you right. You're right. But it's 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 a it's a team game and everybody got to do their part. Yes, everybody got to do their part. And it was that just is so true. And in, in, in the last two games it's it's just not been clicking. Not been clicking. The offense has not been. Th- these last two games have been very winnable. If the right. same offense that showed up for the first 10 games of the season would have showed up for these last two. Right. Okay? Right. And a lot of that starts with the offensive line. Georgia Tech got a lot of pressure on Drake May. And um, mm-hmm. NC State got a lot of pressure on uh, on Drake May. Yes, and they did. To me, to me, that was that that was the big thing in the game. You, yeah. you know, that was that that that's what turned the ties. That's that's I really agree. what turned the ties. And then, you know, Drake May had that one interception on that crazy catch that um that the linebacker for state made, but then they turned that ball over. State's already in the red zone. What they do, they put it in they they put it in the end zone. That 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 was little that was little Mighty Mouse Ingles had mm-hmm. had that uh, interception over uh, Kamari Morales, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was that little that uh, little itty bitty safety. You know my nerves. <laughs> she got on my nerves, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> that dude got on my nerves. I'm like, with somebody, I'm, I'm I'm yelling at the TV. I'm like, please, somebody put some hands on him. This little dude mm-hmm. is everywhere. I I ain't mad yeah. at him at, as a fan at, of the game. I love to see little dudes get off like that. You know, he played with a lot of heart. You know, yeah. But I, I just didn't want to see that this Saturday. You know, he could have did that sure did. before. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just not against us, but you know, I, mm-hmm. I had to tip my hat off to him. He he played a hell of a game. He played a yeah. hell of a game. Yeah. But I, I, t- I tell you what, it's going to be um, it's going to be an uphill battle, especially, um, you know, with Clemson losing in their, uh, their rivalry game to South Carolina. So, you know, they're yeah. going to come in mad next week because basically that's their playoff chances gone. So they, they're going to come out. They're going to have something to prove, and, and they're yeah. going to be pissed off. But my thing is, is Carolina going to be pissed off? Because I, I would have thought, I, I would have thought they would be pissed off after losing to Georgia Tech, but it really didn't look like they cared that much. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, uh, DJ, um, the, okay, DJU, the quarterback from Clemson, have a game like he did this past, you know, like he did Saturday, because he did not look good at all. So I hope this, this also spells rumors of people that I hear. Talking about how, you know he a possible late first round second round pick that dude oh, DJ Ungle be, yeah he don't need to be oh, drafted yeah, no. uh-huh. at, at at all that dude is a that that dude is not no he he's not it I can't even put into yeah, words he, my description he's not in NFL ready right now no no but no but if he do come out this year which I think he will you know because I think it's more I, I no I'm not even gonna say that. But I think he will come out this year. <laughs> I think he will come out this year, and uh, I think that the true freshman is is, is ready to take over Clemson next year. But uh, I just hope mm-hmm. that he comes out. They already announced that he's going to start next week, so I hope we see the same DJ you that we saw last week. I think if yeah. he plays the way that he played, and we can somehow shut down Will Shipley in the running game. We we might have a chance. We might have a chance, yeah. and that, yeah, you know, I know that's a big if. Yeah, that's but that's gift. what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's, that's exactly what I was gonna say. But yeah, but we'll I, see. I'm I'm just I I'm just looking for upset. Good thing good thing is we playing on a neutral site, 
and we're not in Clemson. That 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 yeah. I'm glad about. That I'm glad about. But you know, neutral field. You know, a anything is possible. Yeah, let, let's just hope that um. I was gonna say, let's just hope the Carolina fans travel well because, um, you oh, know, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's truly neutral because it's it's probably about the it might be slightly further to Chapel Hill than down to uh the Clemson, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, we, but, yeah, yeah. Our, our, our fan base travels travels well. I, I'm not even worried about that. Always yeah, have, uh, always. Uh, let's, have. let's hope there's enough in the stands to make it, you know, nice and uh. And uncomfortable for Clemson's offense, but we'll, we'll see. But like I said, it's it's that's, that's it's gonna be a big if. It's gonna be a big if. I, I just hope Mac Brown gets them boys ready, and he, he got to get the head back in the game because they 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 hit they in the clouds yeah. somewhere. They they floating Josh, off lollygagging. Josh Josh Downs needs to step up. He he's been kind of missing the action uh, these past two weeks. I think he only had uh, six receptions for fifty one yards. Like that's. Mm-hmm. That's that's like a first quarter, maybe a first half for him. Yeah. You know, he he needs to step I told back. You he up. Hurt. Yeah, he yeah, I understand that, but he need a some he you if you if you can walk and you step in between them lines, you need to find you need to find a way. He need to find a yeah. way. This is true, but I, I I put a little bit of that on the coaching staff. Like my thing is, you know, if you, you can tell when your players ain't right. And I, right. I and I, me just looking watching the game, he he ain't looked right since the Wake Forest game, and yeah, you know, ho- hopefully, you, you know, it's it's not like they got a couple of weeks to prepare like it's a bowl game. Like, no, this is next week. So right, right, we, we, we'll see. Right. Yeah, we'll see. You got anything else before we get out of here? I sure don't, man. It's it's still a great day to be a Tar Heel as always, but um, I'm gonna do a lot of praying. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tar Heel Nation, that will do it for us this week. This week's opponent is the Tigers from Clemson University at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina, December 3rd, I believe it is. Kickoff is at 8 p.m. Yep. Join us for the ACC Championship game. Until then, Tar Heel Nation, we out.